This is Nina Taylor of the Gospel News. Please stay tuned for Season 4 of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show with your host, Apostle Designate, Minister John E. Ross. Why the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, thou should have no pleasure in thee. Jesus is gone and what you yield, he's soon to come. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side. On in you, Jesus is calling. He's calling. Jesus is calling. Here and calling to you. Remember, he called from day one. Day one. Remember them times you had the stacks and the guns, man. Remember them times where everything went wrong and you blamed everyone else with that same old song you got. It's another one, whatever the trial, whatever it may be, gotta move it, trust him and see, my God, my God. designate minister John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead minister and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and thank you for tuning in for season four of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And Kingdom, our guest for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is Delicia James. Delicia is a singer, songwriter, poet, and musician who began her musical career when she was four years old in the youth choir and the Sunshine Band in her hometown of Henderson, Texas, at the Union Family, excuse me, at the Union Valley True Gospel Pentecost Church. 
Delizia began writing poetry for God and began performing at different events and youth services, which led her into the ministry field of preaching the gospel of Christ. Kingdom, our topic of conversation for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is Transparency in Ministry. Evangelist Delicia James, please begin our discussion and let's go to the Word of God. Glory to God. Just bless your name, God. We thank you, Lord God. I'm glory to God. I just want to touch um, bases with uh, being transparent in ministry because yeah. there's a lot of people that are in need, you know, that are in need. I can speak from my point of view. Uh, being transparent, uh, being able to see somebody grow, go through something and, and come out on the other side, um, it really helped and encouraged and pushed me, um, you know, to be able to go through or know that I can come out because I didn't see somebody come out or, you know, their testimony, you know, when we overcome by the word of our testimony and, you know, the blood of the lamb, um, Definitely wanted to deal with um, transparency because it's needed. Um, so many of our youth, and not just youth, but adults, are are. There's a need for transparency. There's a need for truth. When I say transparency, I mean truth. They need real, and you know, we're looking for real. We're looking for what's real. You know, what's not. And we don't want what's fake, but we want what's real. You know, we want the the real things of God. Yeah, you know, understand? Yeah. Um, we um, the real things, under, um, real things of God. Uh, and you know, in order to move forward in the things of God, because we've seen so much, you yeah. know, that's not of God, and because there's so much that's not of God out there, um, you get um, so many. Well, I can speak with the youth, you know, with confusion and. You know, thinking that, you know, everything is just, you know, goody shoes, shoes and, you know, we don't, you know, that people don't deal with issues and they go, you know, don't go through. But uh, we need to be able to be transparent um, with the youth so they can see us come out so they know how to come out on the other side of a, you know, an issue or a problem that they're dealing with, you know, dealing with in their lives. And I want to use our, our, our testimonies, you know. When we share our testimonies, yeah. that's that's us being transparent, you know, whether we're dealing with an uh, infirmity or uh, a heartbreak or where uh, um, moves need to be mended, you know, we can see how to come through, you know, see how to come through on the other side. And even, even when Jesus walked the earth, you know, just his lifestyle and the way he lived his lifestyle, not only that, but he showed us how to live. You know, he showed us um, how to live, how to go through um, here on earth. You know, he... <clears throat> so that, with that, with that being, the trans, we're talking about transparency, um, that's that's being transparent, whether it's through music or, like you said, or, um, through, you know, through preaching. You know, it encourages people. It helps them know that, you know, that they're not out there by themselves. You know, that, you know, it, I'm pretty sure it's somebody around the world that's going through something, the same thing that somebody else is going through. Um, so the the testimonies help and, and, and encourage you and it lets you know that, you know, you're not going through these things, you know, by yourself, that there is help, you know, uh from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, he said he'll never, you know, forsake us, you know, or leave us. You know, he's with us in our bad times and in our and in our good times. Yeah. So, I, uh, you know, I want to talk about um, transparency, but our, our testimonies, our testimonies are in high demand. And when I say our testimonies are in high demand, I mean they're in high demand and, uh, and we don't, you know, and we don't know it that it's that they're in high demand because they're needed. It's an urgency. They're needed. You know, somebody can get through whatever they're dealing with through our testimonies, as 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 well as encouraging through the word. Yes. The word of God and the preached gospel. Um, 
So I just want to let somebody know that, you know, whatever your testimony is or whatever you're going through, that when you come out on the other side, that you ought to know that your testimony is in high demand because somebody else is in need of is in need of that testimony, whether that testimony Hallelujah. come out through preaching, whether that testimony come out through singing, whether that testimony come out through spoken word, even whether that testimony come out in a dance, because it can come out in a praise dance as well. Um, glory to God. Um, so um, you mean your your testimonies are high, and high demand, and we don't even you know some of us don't know it yet, and it's somebody that needs your testimony that don't know they need it. You know, um, yeah. glory to God. So, you know, we need we need real. People are looking for real. They need what's real. Um, it's so much, if I say it's so much uh, suicide going on, um, you know, it's so much of that going on in our youth, you know. And I'm just, you know, in prayer that, you know, that, I mean, we can stand strong and they can be able to look at us and know that, you know, it's going to be okay, you know, um, by us living our life, you know, through Jesus Christ, you know, yeah. by him, by us doing and being obedient to his word and, you know, um, you know, being planted by the rivers like a tree and not being moved, um, yeah. glory to God, that, he, you know, that, you know, they can see our lifestyle, us being transparent, our lifestyle, you know, um, cause that's the one thing that he did that we were able to see and, under, you know, and understand when he walked the earth was his lifestyle. He showed us how to live and how to get through so we ought to be in his likeness and in his image so we can encourage others to do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I just want to know, you know, let you know that transparency is important in ministry, <clears throat> and it's in need, and it's in high demand. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And Kingdom, our topic of discussion for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is transparency in ministry. Now, Evangelist Delicia, I love this topic. When you told me what the uh, the Lord had gave to you, I said to myself, this is going to be good, and it is very much needed right now in today's society and in this season, not only in the ministry, but in business, in the church, in government, and especially in anything concerning this precious and great gospel. Transparency is the quality of being easily seen through and no hidden agendas or conditions accompanied with accountability and availability. Full information for cooperation, collaboration, and collective decision making with the outline of laws, rules, and guidelines concerning the shaping of it. Transparency helps to build trust. It's the opposite of a silo mentality, which is a reluctance to share information and covering something mm -hmm. up and hiding information. Thus, they are corroding the structure because of lack of information, communication, and unity. Transparency is Christ's character. Philo would be demonic. The Bible describes as a wild beast causing destruction. The Holy Spirit gives transparency, balance, and balance to the gospel and ministry. 1 Corinthians 5 and 8 declares, Therefore let us keep our festival, not with old yeast, nor with the yeast of what is evil and mischievous, but with the bread free from yeast, the bread of transparent sincerity and truth. In 2 Corinthians 2 and 17 declares, We are for unlike most teachers. We are not fraudulent, hucksters of the God's message, but with transparent motives and commission by God in God's presence and in communion with Christ. So we speak. Hallelujah. 
Philippians 1 and 10 declares, so that you may be men of transparent character and may be blameless in the preparation for the day of Christ. Kingdom Old Leaven is the original state before Christ, when we were full of malice and sinful intentions. Therefore, transparency is likened a quality of good fruit, purging away sin from the midst which is symbolic of not with old leaven. For we are now in Christ and therefore a new creation. Leaven is a type of hypocrisy. We being in Christ, we are Christ's delegates and unsullied and uncontaminated and genuine Christ teachers, meaning we operate in sincerity and truth and reality. Amen? Because of our triumph in Christ, we don't bring an odor of death and demise to what we do for God, but we bring a fragrance of and life. Amen? We don't peddle the word of God for profit, but we speak before God with sincerity as men sent from God. Hallelujah. Paul describes this positive aspect of purity without a sense and no fault finding, and that this kind of transparent sincerity is not of an unconscious innocence, but going to the next level. Well tried and thoughtful, purity and proof against suspicion, which Apostle Paul describes as perfect love overflowing with knowledge. The comparison is a jewel, a precious stone declared in Revelations 21 and 11. Shining with the glory of God, its radiance was like a most precious jewel, like a jasper stone clear as crystal, which describes clearly what God wants from us in the kingdom to be crystal clear in our intentions, our work, our money, and our motives. Having the glory of God, and when we do this, we'll re- we will receive the Shekinah glory, because that's where God dwells. In other words, when we are transparent, we shine like diamonds. Those who obey our Lord's command shines like a diamond. We are God's diamond. Evangelist Delicia. Please give the final words to close our discussion on this topic, transparency in ministry. Um, well, while you were going forth, um, Hallelujah. I can't think of the scripture, but the, it came back up to me um, dealing with whitewash. Um, the Bible talks about whitewash, and I just yes. want to say that whitewash is like you can have a beautiful house and they can paint over with whitewash, but on the inside it's mildew, right? So, yeah. you know, in transparency, we need to be able to be able to see that mildew, see what you're dealing with, so we can be able to help, you yeah. know, help. So you won't be of whitewash, but then when you stand as a frame, you won't have to worry about you you toppling, you know, or, or, or you falling because we don't went in the inside and removed all that whitewash out the way. So now, Hallelujah. like you said, you can shine like that diamond, you know. Yeah. So you can, so you can shine bright. Glory to God. So, in, you know, in transparency, you can you can walk around and you can walk around and be whitewashed, but on the inside, on the inside, there's a cleansing, there's a need, there's a filling, there's in that that needs to be filled. There's a need that needs to be met. Glory yeah. to God. So in in order, you have to confess those things unto the Father. But then he can go in and move and clean and remove the whitewash. Yes, um, glory to God. Because you must first confess those things. But once you've confessed it, you acknowledge it. When you yeah. acknowledge it, then he can move. But if you never acknowledge that you need the help or you you need what's real or, you know, to be able to um, to have what you need in order to go forward, in the things of God, so transparency is is so important in the in the kingdom of God. So I, I just encourage you to to be you know be um, be transparent you know with the things of God and 
you know, be transparent in a way that's pleasing, you know, unto our Father so that he may be glorified in every area of our life. Amen. Evangelist Amen. Delicia James, please introduce yourself to the kingdom. Hello. Um, my um, name is Delicia James, and I'm a uh, up and coming Christian artist. Um, I have uh, music out, wonderful music out. I have a, just released a CD, and the CD is called The Counselor, um, which is dealing with the Holy Spirit. Uh, I love the Holy Spirit. Because he leads us to all truth and he yeah. help us. You know, he's a helper to us. Um and he's a counselor to us. And he can he guide us and lead us through the word of God while yeah. entiring us by the name of Jesus Christ. Um, glory to God. And I also I I have you can find my music um, you can find it on Amazon.com, which you can go on and you can uh, download the music from Amazon, or you can order a CD, or you can order a vinyl. And uh, to find me, it'll just be um, D E apostrophe L I S I A, and you can put that in and put um, next to it the counselor, and I should come right up. As well as all digital stores, I'm on all digital stores, and it's the same way. Uh, you can find me on on Facebook, and it's under Evangelist Delisa. You can find me on there. And I also have a website, which is um, www.delicia.us, and as well as you can order CDs from there as well. I'm currently Amen. located. Amen. Go ahead. <laughs> Amen. And please tell Sorry. us, about, tell us yeah. about the songs for we, we will be hearing during this podcast, Mountains and Free. Mountain, mountain is. I mean, a song I wrote when I was I was going through. I was going through so dealing with so much. I mean, as a young adult, when I wrote this song, um, in high school, you know, just dealing with so many things, even from molestation, molestation to, um, you know, just just hurt, and you know, you can get to a way of where rejection and different things come in. But God said, you know, whatever your mountain is, that he, that he can move it. Whatever that mountain is, that he can move it. That, you know, it, you don't, it don't have to stay there. It can be moved. Um, so I wrote that to encourage, um, you know, whatever mountain you're dealing with, know it can be moved um, through the name of Jesus Christ. And the song free is just, you know, you being able to be free in the things of God, um, being free to work. Um, we take the limits off of God. Um, if you allow Him to go limitless in you, then you you'll be able to go limitless in Him. Um, just being free in Him and you know free from things that weigh you down. Amen. Yeah. And truly, Kingdom, we are getting ready to hear free in just a moment. And I love your work and uh, her music, Delicia's music, is in rotation on the Let's Talk to the Lord radio station. She is, I love spoken word, and she is an awesome spoken word artist. So how may we support your ministry? You can support me. <laughs> You can support me online. Um, like I said, you I, um, you can go to Amazon and you can support by, um, I have CDs and uh, you can download from offline as well as I have a um, cash app as well. Um, you can send there and I can mail CDs out and uh, mail T-shirts and, you know, different things like that, um, you know, Glorify God, you know, telling about the counselor, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And how can the listening audience get in touch with you or reach out to you? You can definitely reach me on my email. And my email is Delicia. I'm sorry, my email is James Delicia at gmail.com. Um, you can reach me at, and my, the number I have is 214 794 2835. That number is 214-794-2835. Amen. 
Amen. And Kingdom Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on Spotify, Alexa, YouTube, His Hop Radio, Elation, Elation Radio, iTunes by Positive Power, Double XI, and Jerry Royce Live and Sensational Sounds, Kingdom Mandate Radio. We are on KingdomInfluencesBroadcast.com every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. My latest singles, Remember Now by Creator, the remix is available for purchase on Amazon.com and all digital stores. If you want to reach out to me, please reach out to me by emailing me at let's talk to the Lord at yahoo.com. Kingdom, we have began a radio station. To listen, please visit our website. Let's talk to the Lord Radio dot international. And please download our app from your app play store for your cell phones. On our radio station, we have 24-7 music, talk, and more. And you can find our app on your Play Store, Google App Store, under the name of Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. Until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you living your life under a open heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. My heart is aching Looking at the things of this world God, we need your help I confess I need your help Help me to give to surrender to your will anyway these tests and these trials weigh me down and I get tired feel like I'm drowning in this world that I'm not a blessed to feel Preachers hurting, preachers crying. The best is not yours, but it's the Lord's. Look to the hills and with come with your help. He will bring, bring you out, set you free. Yeah, I'm in need of strength and need. I'm in need of you. I'm in need of healing. Saving, set me free. Set me free from anger. Set me free. Set me free from the enemy. I'm in need of saving. I'm in need